Hey guys, it's Farah Dukai and today I'm going to show you a look inspired by the glam supervillains and heroes from the movies. This look is perfect for costume parties, comic con, or if you just need a little extra drama for an evening out. For a completely flawless finish, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and applying that all over with a kabuki brush. While the foundation sets on my skin, I'm going to work on my brows. I'm using my Smashbox Brow Tech to go and filling in these sparse areas. I'm also going to arch my brows a little higher to get that fierce villain look. Now we're going to work on the eyes. For a sharp line, I'm going to apply some tape to the outside corner of my eyes. Then I'm going to prime my lids to ensure that my shadow stays in place all day or night long. To highlight my brow bone and add a little extra lift, I'm using Bone Eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown. I'm also going to take this into the inner corners of my eyes. This will really draw some light and really lift and brighten up the areas. To set the entire lid, I'm going to be using Banana from Bobbi Brown. I'm going to be using a mix of warm and cool tones to really pull this look together. To warm up the crease, I'm grabbing Camel Eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown and really buffing that in. I'm going slightly above the crease and really extending that shape towards the outer corner of my eye to create a feline shape. Now, on a smaller, more precise brush, I'm picking up Taupe Eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown and slightly cutting the crease. I'm holding my brush upwards to really get into the crease to make sure none of that shadow goes onto the lid. For the outer V of my eye, I'm using Black Plum from Bobbi Brown. This color is slightly red, so it's really going to pull the entire look together, since I'm going to be wearing a red lip later on. Now it's time to create that fierce cat shape. I'm picking up Charcoal Eyeshadow by Bobbi Brown and really elongating the eye and buffing this in. This is going to give the illusion of longer, more feline looking eyes. And it's going to add a lot of depth. Once I buff that on, I'm just going to go through and pick up all of the shadows that I applied in the beginning and really blend, blend, blend and buff all of those out so that there's no harsh lines and everything looks nice and seamless. Now that we're done with the top lid, I'm going to gently take that tape off and grab my foundation brush and just clean up any of that foundation that might have come off when removing the tape. Now I'm picking up my Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in black ink and darkening up the lash line and creating a darker, more precise cat eyeliner. Since we use tape, this is going to be really easy since the shape is already mapped out for us. I'm also going to be using this liner to extend the inner corner of my eye to really elongate the eyes. Before I finish the eyes, I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I'm taking the highlight shade from my Smashbox Contour Trio and highlighting the high points and centers of my face. I'm using a heavier hand with this product because I really want those features of my face to stand out and come forward. Now I'm just going to set the highlighted area of my face with my Smashbox Photo Filter Powder Foundation. This is going to make us look extra flawless. Now it's time for my favorite part, contouring. I'm grabbing the contour shade from my Smashbox Trio and chiseling out the cheekbones. I'm going a little heavy on the contour because I want to alter the shape of my face to look more fierce and structured. For a rosy flush, I'm using my Estee Lauder blush in Pink Kiss and applying this towards the backs of my cheekbones. I'm staying away from the apples of my cheeks. Now to really brighten up my face, I'm using my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Beige and I'm highlighting the high points of my face. Now that the face is done, it's time to add the finishing touches to the eyes. I'm grabbing Charcoal Eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown on an angled brush and I'm creating a new inner corner. This is really going to open up and alter the shape of the eye. Then, I'm tracing that shadow along my lower lash line and extending it outwards from the outer corner to give the illusion of long, fluttery lashes. I'm also going to trace out another baby wing from that wing that we just created. I'm also taking that eyeshadow and creating another wing extending from the top lash line as well. With my Estee Lauder Double Wear Eye Pencil in Pearl, I'm going to fill in that inner corner and trace that along my waterline. And I'm also going to fill in the areas between the lashes that we created. This is just going to add a lot of light and really clean up the look. Once that's done, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Infant Daring Length and Volume Mascara to create those long, fluttery lashes. For the lips, I'm using Bobbi Brown Red Lip Liner for that perfect, pointy, villainous pout. I'm slightly exaggerating my cupid's bow to look sharper than it actually is. Then I'm taking Bobbi Brown Creamy Matte Lip Color in Scarlet and filling in the outer parts of my lips to add depth and to slightly ombre the lip. Once you do that, the entire look is done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a great big thumbs up and subscribe to the I Love Makeup YouTube channel for more awesome and creative looks.